It's hurricane season every year from June to November, which is one of the reasons that PwC has a proactive and aggressive emergency response plan ready to implement when faced with a hurricane or other disasters. Our crews are always ready to swing into action when it's safe and work around the clock if necessary to restore service. But you don't have to take my word for it. We're out in the field today and we had the opportunity to ride along with one of our linemen to get the facts on emergency preparation. On a normal day, you know, it's kind of like, it's, it's just, it's normally maintenance. You know, it's not really something that, you know, we have to rush on, try to get lights on. It's kind of maintenance, it's scheduled. In a hurricane, you know, we know we got power out. We know we got to get people's lights back on, so we try to do it as quick as we can and as safe as we can. Um, you really don't know what you're going to run into. Use it during a normal day. Kind of know you expect what you expect what you're going to run into because you get your work order in the mornings. You go out, you know what to expect during a hurricane. You don't know what you're going to run into. You might run into, you get called out to something. You might run into it. It might be something totally different. So you always got to have your head right. And you say you try to get out as quickly and as safely as you can. What are some of the safety precautions y'all have to be mindful of in a storm situation? Well, the, the number one thing we do is job briefings. You got to know at what time and especially in one thing we got to know about people with generators with power out so you can back feed them the lines um, but um, like during a hurricane you know we always get in a group and talk about the job always before we go out to make sure our material is right and everything's good what about like wind speed or a certain amount of rain how does well, that um, the rule of thumb is they try to send us out when the wind speed's too high. I can't remember what it is, but um, we usually try to let the storm die down before we, they send us out because you can go out there and do as fast as you can and be as fast as you can get the fire back out, but the wind's still up, it's going to knock it right back out again. So we usually try to wait for it to go away. And then we go out and you know, we've got people riding around assessing the situations and giving us orders to um, where the power's out and dispatchers letting us know where to go and you know what the situation is. So if there's an emergency situation and you guys arrive on site, realize something needs to be restored, but you may not know quite what, what are the general steps to assess what the problem is? Well, the main thing is we have we try to have a little job briefing no matter how emergency is, we don't want nobody to get hurt. So we get there, we pull up on site. Kind of visualize what's going on, you know, how many customers we got out, if we have any out, you know, if we got any lines down, if there's a pro pole broke or anything like that, and we discuss it, you know, whether it's in a hurry discussion or, you know, hey, you got you know, everybody make sure we got rope gloves on, you know, everything, there's wire down. There could be wire laying on the ground hot, nobody knows it, right? Um, it's just, it's, it's a big safety thing, man. We got we try to, you know, keep everybody safe and keep everybody on the same page. Um, and then once we know the situation, what's going on, and everybody kind of goes and tries to do their job on, you know, just unload the pole or getting in the bucket, getting the wires back up or anything like that. But the main thing is when we pull up, we always assess the situation and make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody knows what's going on, no matter how big of an emergency it is. You kind of touched on it a little bit, you know, saying about the wire being down and needing gloves. Are there like common hazards that you guys have to be mindful of? Yes, especially during a storm. Um, people have generators. And, you know, they, some people don't know that uh, a transformer works backwards just as good as it works forwards. So if they got a generator hooked up to their house, they can back feed through their meter right out back on the lines and send 7,000 volts right back on the wire that's laying on the ground. And you might think, oh, the wire's on the ground, it's dead. You gotta pick it up, it's live. So that's one of the main things we listen for when we pull up on a job during the storm. This generator run. And if there is a generator run, we try to go up to the house and ask the customer, hey, you know, can you cut it off if they say, no, I'm not cutting it off. We just go right there to the meter and pull the meter that way. It can't back feed out back on our system causing a hazard. We've got certain normal um, um, practices we 
take on our trucks, um, making sure every, we got all the material that we need. Like this is an overhead truck, so you got to have all the material ready for anything that can happen on an overhead job. Um, and on underground trucks, the same thing. So we're always, you never know what's going to happen in this line of work. So we're always storm ready, emergency ready, and just ready to go at all times. That way if something does happen, we ain't got to go back to the plant, load up a truck or anything like that. Um, but like I said, we're always ready for an emergency, ready for anything natural disaster to happen.